The workforce is increasingly diverse, and so are your clients. This presents an unprecedented opportunity. Diversity can be a competitive advantage, and I'm gonna show you how. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. The reality is that the future is fluid. Facebook allows people to submit whatever gender they want. It's a blank spot. Anyone can type in their gender. Literally infinite genders, according to Facebook. And not only that, but Facebook allows folks to tell the world what their pronoun is. So why does this matter? It matters because those Generation Z and millennial workers value equality. And yeah, you are gonna have some people who are like, mm, I don't know about this, what does this mean? Where do I fit? What is even a pronoun? I haven't heard that word since third grade, right? Why are we talking about pronouns? Trust me, the future is fluid. Right now, your employees are taking notes on how your organization responded to COVID-19. They're taking notes on how your organization responded to the murder of George Floyd and the subsequent conversations around racial equity in the United States. Here's why this matters. Generation Z is about to be the most diverse workforce the world has ever seen. They value diversity. They value equity and inclusion. They want to know that their voices matter. They expect it, and I'm gonna show you how to deliver it. The cost for these things is virtually zero. The return is priceless because you're creating a more inclusive environment for the folks who are gender diverse. Hi, my name is Bernadette Smith, and I work with organizations to build systems so that diversity and inclusion is the default and therefore more sustainable. I help organizations build a profitable culture of inclusion because every voice matters. Have you ever made an assumption and guessed wrong? So how do we unassume assumptions? How do we stop our brain from making these quick assumptions that get us in trouble, that cause us to accidentally offend someone. Well, if assumptions come because our brain is moving too fast, then one way to unassume assumptions is actually to slow our brain down. Another solution to beating these assumptions that creep into everyday life, to beating the assumptions that cause us to miss out on each individual's gifts, is something called the ARC method. ARC, A-R-C, ask, respect, connect. The ARC method is a powerful tool that can help you get clarity, it can help you beat assumptions, it can help you speak out against harassment, and it can help you lead a more inclusive organization if you take ARC into every conversation that you have. Um, it was very helpful to me because there were a lot of things I learned from her about verbiage and language and how to properly market that because it's her expertise, I hadn't really thought of. I was blown away with the genuine emotion, the genuine care, the information that she gave, um, you know, with the history and what's going on and things that are going on today and how we can go ahead and apply that to make our clients feel more comfortable, which again is my most important aspect. Leadership is about people. They're your organization's greatest asset. Leaders must be bold and quick, especially during this time. Now is not the time to hide. It's not the time to cover. It's not the time to avoid difficult conversations. Leaders must lead with a spirit of service, a spirit of gratitude, and curiosity, and humility, get the best from everyone.